He is. Yeah. Very good. Makes you pretty fast. And my name is Kyle and I have the Northern Flicker. And run if your bird forages on the ground. Forages on the ground. My name is Great Horned Owl Thomas. And my bird comes out in the daytime in winter. So run if your bird comes out during the day. Yeah. Name black cap chickadee must mean it has a black head. So it has a black head and the eyes are black so like the eyes are hard to see. And run if your bird is a bird. <laughs> Ed Wing Blackbird again. Bird lays eggs. Run. Wait, what? Lays yeah. eggs. The red tail hawk and it preys on about anything that it can eat. And if it has to, it'll eat small domestic dogs and cats. Like Rosie's dog. <laughs> If your bird has a really loud screech. I'm not sure about a screech. <laughs> Can't you hear that? Uh, great Blue Heron Michael, and I haven't been given any facts. So, the Great Blue Heron is a master of the stock, and he waits sometimes for hours in complete stillness by the water's edge. And he can peck at fish or small mammals, sometimes insects. Run if your bird migrates for the winter. Billy, does yours? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, Jackson, you've got it. Okay, remember we talked about this. The best take thing a breath. is if it's spray. <laughs> Turn your head away. Like and, and remember to look and see which way it's <laughs> going. Yeah. Just hit it yeah. Yeah. Right on that edge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, one of the tricks I like to do is this little there. Around it. So you can hold it Kind of like you whisper. Kind of like that. But I can't Yeah, he can't. Got this one.
So, uh, what did you make there? Just grass pounded into a liquid. It tastes really no, bad. It tastes like it tastes like you want, right? <laughs> no, I already tasted it. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I think there. Is that some right behind that cedar? Or is that just some coat? It's just a coat. Don't be too sure. All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Someone's got some red, uh, like, kind of the way towards where camp is. And uh, you're laying down. You're not moving yet, but I see you. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. See you, Shiley. Yep. See you. I saw you like five years ago. <laughs>
my home dinner because I'm going home home. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, come on. Just, just leave it. Make a teepee. He's a master at this. There's so much smoke in here, we're gonna get smoked out. There's a big boss now. Okay. Nice. Nice. Eight balls. stress the whole bunch too much and uh, right where these marks are you kind of you know you just go in not too close to the edge and just hole punch and get all those get all those hole punched there so you want to Make sure it's in the right spot. And you know that you're going to have this piece kind of come up to where it covers it all. Have you seen how they're doing it over there with the coin? Oh, um, essentially, you know how like a binder works? It has those metal rings. Just making that with straight. What this all means is that the left side here, I'm going to put kind of over the right side like that. And then. And now they've switched, so now this is the right. This is left. I have a piece of wood behind you. Like a. Yeah, that, that'll work. Hey, you guys, I just want you to take one minute and look at what Jerry's doing here. Alright, go! Oh, we have to go! No, I'm not. Oh, it's too cold. <laughs> we'll run around you and we'll be stones but this you know this works um, and so you know there's a coarse and a fine um, side but essentially you you have it on there and then I'll rotate it so that's on that bevel you know you go like 10 strokes or so one way and then you just flip it over like that and you got to come back the other way like a common mistake is you'll be going and then you're like get really like narrow at the at the edge or something so it'll be a good bevel and then all of a sudden you'll be taking like too much off so you at the tip here and so you want to kind of like bring the knife up a little bit just so you're staying at a good spot
this end piece, I'm going to make a flat fireboard over there. And if you have, uh, you can't do this with a folding knife, but it works very well with uh, a, a fixed blade knife like this. Okay? So, just about like that. Yeah, and use a, a mallet. It's great. This also works well here. I like a planer for you get long, thin, clean, nicely controlled shavings this way. Now we have a fireboard, a drill, a socket. What are we missing for a bow and drill? A bow. A bow. Okay. And so sometimes I'd flip it around and come from that side, but in this case I think that's adequate. Do that. Now one uh, string could work, but um, it might also break, and I don't really want to risk that. So I'm going to strengthen it by putting two together. Down here, I come down, I'm going to do a clove hitch. So basically, I'm going to make an X like that. Okay. And then I'm going to tuck the string back under the middle. questions before we break up into teams. We're trying to think which piece to make to the spindle and which for the fireboard. But if there's a few knots, it is hard to split the parts. So it's kind of... You should see it start to swell.
ground? Yeah, we gotta go all the way down to the ground. And just go all, all the way around the face here. Oh, it's really cold. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh. Oh. With a contact man. Yeah, if it's, if it's slumps. Yeah. Harsh. Yeah. Some oh. might even call it cold. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, one more day. Wow, this is so nice. Wow. <laughs> getting hard here so it's actually uh, yeah turning a little bit like a ceramic It's 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay. Where is everybody? They're over there. Oh, okay. Oh, what do you think? Take a look at that. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, that looks good. Did you get a picture? Oh, it's good. Let me eat it. God. Come on. It yeah. might be a little doughy on the side. Oh, yeah, that's quite doughy. 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 He's in pain. We have to move him. We can't lay here forever. So how are we going to get him out of the woods? <laughs> Stretch it out today. Yeah, but we don't have enough sweatshirts, do we? Yeah, we do. One, yes, we do. two, we don't three, four. Oh, make the stretcher! <laughs> so if you didn't have enough 
sweatshirts, would you be like, oh, we don't have enough sweatshirts, we gotta leave them. Oh. Alright, so we'll talk about how to transport in a second. Let's first look at this, uh, look at this splint. That's an awesome splint. Wait, they need to be down to the sides more. Why does it need to be even? No, I think, I think this looks really, really good, actually. Can you move your knee? So, I can a little bit. Um, so it's not ideal, you know, it's a wilderness splint. So, so for a basic broken leg, which is what I had, uh, your sticks are above my knee, the sticks are about below my ankle, and they're tied off in two spots, which is not ideal, but it works because that's what we had. Um, ideally, we'd want to find some kind of tufts of grass or some moss or something to stick in here. Cushion. To really cushion it, because it's digging into me right now, and if my leg was really broken, it would be it would be painful. So the important things are our arms are going to be just going to be every other arm, every other arm, and that's going to. Um, so as long as we're staggered, our arms are staggered. We're going to have Christian, who's the most important person right now, who's going to stabilize the head. You're going to make sure the head's not flopping around. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, lift. <laughs> All right. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we just take a few steps so you guys can see how it feels? It's not easy to carry someone like this, but we kind of have to work as a team. So let's go straight. Let's try to get to the road here. Slowly. Slowly. Christian, 
I would not burn you, I'm scared. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> yeah. James. Oh yeah. We're uh, putting the dart in the ground with the antler in the back. Reach forward with your thumb and index finger. And your uh, fingers go through these uh, leather loops here. That way you don't end up throwing the, uh, throwing the board. And uh, so, you're going to keep it straight. The, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they have a pretty good power to them. They actually have more knockdown power than a bow and arrow. Nice throw. Oh, come on, move on, move on. 